hello you're welcome how to simplify this nice math problem involving roots from here we have two methods of solving this the first method the method one we have square root of a then inside that we have square root of 8 then square root of 8 or raised to power 8 from here we can rewrite this as square root of 2 raised to power 3 as 2 raised to power 3 is equals to 8 that's 2 times 2 times 2 then this square root we can take it out as raised to power half because this square root is affecting everything here so the same thing as raised to power half so we can write this as 2 raised to power 3 times square root of 2 raised to power 3 also here then square root of same thing here 2 raised to power 3 then all raised to power 8 then times 1 over 2 so this square root has become raised to power 1 over 2 then in the next step this multiply and we have this one this f for here so everything now will be raised to power 4 then we can separate this as well and write this as 2 raised to power 3 times square root of 2 raised to power 3 then square root of here we can write this as 2 square then times 2 that's 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 1 same thing as 2 raised to power 3 here then raised to power 4 then from here square root of 2 raised to power 2 square we cancel the square root but we still have square root of 2 so here we now become 2 root 2 from here then we have 2 raised to power 3 times square root of 2 raised to power 3 then inside that we have 2 root 2 then all raised to power 4 from here then also from here we have this as 2 raised to power 1 and when we apply the law of indices since they multiply here we have the power added together that's 3 plus 1 that's 4 so therefore we can write this as 2 raised to power 3 times square root of 2 raised to power 4 then root 2 from here then all raised to power 4 then from here again we can rewrite this from here we have square root of 2 raised to power 4 and uh, that will be square root of 2 raised to power 4 same thing as square root of 16 because 2 raised to power 4 there is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is 16 and square root of 16 there is 4 so now this square root outside here we also affect root 2 so root 2 now has 2 roots there so this can have be written as 2 raised to power 3 times this is now 4 then root 2 also inside that root we have root 2 then all raised to power 4 then when we write this from here in base 2 as well we can say this is 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power 2 that's same thing as 4 then here we can write this as 2 raised to power 1 over 4 that's 2 raised to the power half, that's square root. Then another raised to the power half, that's 1 over 4. Then all raised to the power 4. Then from here, when we bring this together from the law of indices, this is 2 raised to the power 5. Then times 2 raised to the power 1 over 4. Then all raised to the power 4. Then this power will affect these numbers. So it, it implies we have 2 raised to the power 5. Then times 2 raised to the power 4. Then times 2 raised to power 1 over 4 times raised to power 4. Then from here, this multiplies. We have 2 raised to power 20 times here. This cancel out since they multiply. Then 2 raised to power 1 left. 
Then this from the law of indices, we also sum the power, then this will be 2 raised to the power 21. So from here we have the solution here as 2 raised to the power 21. Then let's look at the second method from here very quickly. From here we can separate this as this will be root 8 times root then root 8 then times also square root of then square root of square root of 8 making 3 there so the first one has just one root the second one contains two roots then the third 8 contains three roots then which is being raised to power 8 but now let's deal with what is inside first now here we can also write this as 8 raised to power 1 over 2 then here we can write this as 8 raised to power 1 over 4 and here we can write it as 8 raised to power 1 over 8 then when we bring it together so this is now same thing as from what we have 8 raised to power half times 8 raised to power 1 over 4 times 8 raised to power 1 over 8 or raised to power 8 then since you have same base of 8 we sum the power together, then this becomes 8 raised to the power 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8, which is being raised to the power 8. Then from here, the LCM here is 8. So when we bring it together, we have 8 raised to the power LCM being 8. 2 goes in 8. That will give us 4. 4 times 1, that's 4. Plus 4 goes in 8. 2. 2 times 1, that's 2. Then this is plus 1 here, raised to power 8. Then when we sum this from here, we have 4 plus 2 plus 1, that's 7. We have 8 raised to power 7 over 8, or raised to power 8. This power multiplies, this cancel out, and we have 8 raised to power 7 here. Then we can also write 8 to base 2 as 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 7. And this multiplies again from the law of indices, and this is 2 raised to the power 21. So, which is same thing with what we got earlier. Whichever way, we got 2 raised to the power 21 as a solution here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you have a comment, don't hesitate to put it in the comment section. Thank you. For watching see you next class and bye for now